One of the least talked about prophets in the Old Testament is Habakkuk. And the book of Habakkuk is very short, and he is a fascinating character because he doesn't prophesy to anyone. Rather, he has a conversation with God. And most of us should probably like Habakkuk because he just had kind of an argument with God. And so he poured out his complaint to God about Israel, about the injustice, about the immorality, about the systems falling apart. And God said, well, I'm going to do something about it. I'm about to move and do something about that. He says, I'm, I'm going to send the Babylonians and bring judgment. And Habakkuk says, wait, 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 what are you going to do? And he says, they're worse than Israel. And he's complaining to God again. And so God simply says to him, write this in stone, Habakkuk. Write it for all to see. The righteous shall live by faith. In other words, he was saying to Habakkuk, if you want my answer to your problem, you're going to have to trust me. And that little phrase in Habakkuk chapter 2, verse 4, but the righteous shall live by faith. Don't get tripped up on the word righteous because it doesn't mean people who have accomplished anything. It means people who are in a relationship with God where they're keeping the covenant and where they're, where they're resting in Him. And he says, if you're going to rest in me, then you're going to have to live by faith. Meaning, you're not going to see the outcome, but you're going to trust me. And Habakkuk did the most amazing thing. That got so deeply inside of him. It rested so profoundly within him that by the end of his, of his uh, prophecy, he is praising and laughing. You might say he's dancing for joy, not because he sees the solution to a problem, but because he sees the God of the problem. And in that, he can rest. Now, one bonus for Habakkuk, his phrase, the righteous shall live by faith, came to be the mantra of the New Testament apostles. And so Paul used it in Romans and Galatians, and the writer of Hebrews used it as they said in this new covenant, where we who are in the new covenant have received the promises of God, the righteous live by faith. And so that's my word for you. You don't have the solution to your problem, but you have the God who is with you and taking you through your problem.